Hi, my name is Rui and I'm here to tell you that yes, there is a new method you can use to install Google Mobile Services on your Huawei devices. And it is a method that is uh, really useful if your phone is so recent that the Google Fire method isn't working. And it is also very easy, but I believe there's a catch. I'll tell you all about it in a second, but first let me speak to my Portuguese speaking followers to explain to them why am I speaking in English right now. Olá a todos, já acho que já deu para perceber, este é mais um daqueles vídeos que eu faço em inglês. O que se passa é que há um novo método para instalar os serviços móveis da Google, ou melhor, para contornar essa falha é um método que é muito simples e para quem tem, por exemplo, um Huawei P Smart 2021 ou o um Mate 40 da família Mate 40, vai dar muito jeito, mas eu não o utilizaria num telemóvel meu. Eu vou já explicar isso mesmo a quem fala inglês. Vou também fazer um vídeo em português, aliás, quando eu fizer vou deixá-lo aqui assim, ok? Mas posso já adiantar que há aqui uma falha de segurança e eu não me meteria nisto. Este vídeo é para explicar como é que o método funciona, como é que se pode um, usá-lo, mas mais do que isso é para alertar. Eu, volto a dizer, eu não o utilizaria num telemóvel meu. So, back to you guys, and first let me be absolutely clear. If I were you, I wouldn't, I repeat, I would not use this method. I believe there's a security breach here and I would never use it with my own Google account. I would never uh, go to my bank on this phone. Also, be careful with your photos, um, I don't know, uh, social networks and so on. And that's why, first of all, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to this channel because if there ever is a safe way to install Google mobile services other, of course, than the Google Fire method, uh, which is over here, okay, I'll post a video about it and you'll want to know um, that there is one, so please consider subscribing. Now I'll show you how to use uh, the method that I'm talking about on this video. It's super easy, really, but mainly I'm showing this to you so that you can identify this method and hopefully, again, not use it. Of course, this is up to you, you are grown-ups. I believe, um, but I really do advise against it. I believe um, you are surrendering too much of your data to an app which is controlled by who the hell knows, certainly not Google, okay? Also, please don't come to me asking for help installing this because I really don't think you should. And well, there's this video to guide you if you really need. So all you need is an app, really. It's called Double Space. It's right here in the description of this video. You'll find the link, click on it, and well, you'll understand the rest. But now, let me go to my phone. Okay, here we are. And the first thing we must do is go to our internet browser. And we have to type in this URL. It's bit dot l y slash 38 p b f all in capital letters q and 8 please notice that pbf is in capital letters go and this brings us to a place where we can download the app that we're talking about. It's called Dual Space, and we need at least this version, 3.2.7. Okay, if you're going to install this, you'll need this version. So, tap on download. Here we are. Download. Add it to the download list. It's downloading. If it asks you to allow, please do allow. Tap on install. And then on open. And here you are. So, it asks you to read carefully. I advise you do, but I'm sure you will not. Anyway, tap on start. You have to allow all of these, of course. 
and here it is. This is dual space. This is an intro video. It shows you how to install YouTube, I guess. And Okay, so now it says it's loading Google Play services. You must wait for it to load them. And here we are. It even uh, explains to you what to do. You have to tap to install Google Play Store. That's what I'm about to do. Well, <laughs> that was just an intro. Now, yes. Here, you have to sign in. This is the part where I strongly advise you not to use your main personal Google account. Okay, this is my warning number one. I will not use any of the emails I've used until today. And in fact, I've just created this one. And I suggest you use another email account because I'm not totally sure that all the data you type in your phone and whatever you do on your phone isn't, uh, well, shared with the guys that made this app. I just don't know, okay? And I'm afraid something like that might happen. Now it's the time to add my password. Of course, I will not show it to you. No, thank you. And here we are. I'm using the Play Store on a device in which supposedly uh, the Google Play services aren't installed. Let's just see what can we install. Let's try YouTube. Go. Install. And it is, of course, installing. I can see why this seems so appealing because it really is really simple and it is working. Anyway, I don't know which sort of um, wizardry is happening. Maybe it's through a VPN. I have no idea, really. I'm, I'm not even trying to understand how it's working. The thing is, I'm really not comfortable with this software and it's because it is just a software. It's over there and it's inside this dual space that you have the option to go to the Google Play Store or to, well, now I've just installed my YouTube app, but you can also install Instagram. This is just a quick way to install, I guess. Yeah, it's just uh, a shortcut for you to install it. Now it is installing. I'm sure it will work out fine. And of course, as I've said, you don't have the Play Store on your home screen or anywhere, but you can add it. So you just tap on it for a second and yeah, just send it. It asks you if you want to add to the home screen. You say add and there it is. But as you can see, there is also that little icon showing that it belongs to dual space. Okay, so this isn't uh, a real installation of Google's Play Store, all right? There's this Gmail icon, but it's an old icon. We can even try to download Gmail and install it, of course. Anyway, while it is uh, installing, I want to check out something with you guys. Go into settings. You don't need to do this, of course, but I want to show you. Go into users and accounts 
and there's this dual space there's no google account there's a dual space account all right also and this i haven't checked before but go into apps apps again tap on those show system processes so the three dots show system processes and type go there's nothing there's nothing of Google okay so what that means is that Google is somewhere but not here all right it is able to install Google although this is waiting to download for quite some time let's try something else let's go for uh, maps but it might be a question of internet connection I don't know it's installing Instagram form from somewhere I have no idea where as you can see all right com.ludashi.dualspace so although it may seem that the downloads come from Google they aren't and this is very fishy this is all very very fishy again now this is gmail and it's downloading from somewhere in space in dual space let's see what this is about no nothing the gmail icon is there i don't know if it was before to tell you the truth i don't think so but um anyway this is too fishy for my taste i, I really feel uncomfortable um well I don't even feel uncomfortable I'm telling you not to use this method okay I don't see any reason why you would be using this method that's as simple as that I know that some phones like mate 40 pro or p smart um, 2021 uh, they don't have Google services and there's not a real way to install them well this also is not a way to install them okay as you saw there isn't i'm going to show it to you again this device does not have google play services installed all right it doesn't if it had something would have appeared here okay and even if it didn't if you tap on show system processes something should appear it doesn't so this is it really all right if you do again this is the same thing create shortcut and you add the shortcut it's there but i really 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 recommend you don't use this method all right by the way on gmail let's see what happens it's still thing is it's showing that it's downloading but here you see it's downloading from there and that never appears while you are using Google um, Play Store it doesn't appear something like that so I don't know again which <laughs> what kind of sorcery is happening but something is happening Let's just wait for it to download. And it's a shame that it's really fishy because you can do one other thing. You, you can get all your notifications from all the apps that you install you go into settings apps tap apps again find dual space power usage details uh 
here manage automatically just turn this off and keep these on well if you would do this you would get notifications from all your apps like gmail or whatever whatsapp you can install of course whatsapp so yes this seems really really great but it only seems again it's too fishy i for i don't know for the 100th time i'm telling you not to use this method okay yeah that's it don't so that's it this is a way that you can somehow get the play store and other uh, google stuff working on your huawei devices even on a mate 40 pro or a p smart 2021 but i strongly advise against it and that's why i really want to stress this if there ever is a safe way to do it i'll instantly post a video about it so you should click the subscribe button of my channel so that uh, well so that you know that i've done such a video okay okay i'm signing off for now my name is rui and i really want to leave you with uh, this message on your mind i really really advise against using this method okay it's your choice i don't think you should bye bye see you next time hopefully with a safe way to install Google mobile services on your Huawei devices. And that's why, again, I recommend you hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye, cheers.